Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. So, students, today we are going to learn about chapter number nine, geometry, lines, and line segments. Before that, I will tell you about some solid shapes which you see in your daily life. There are many things which you see in your daily life in the form of solid shapes. Now here I will show you some video which will help you to understand the different form of solid shapes. Okay sir. In your daily life you can see a book, ice cream cone, yummy, gas cylinder, dice through which you play ludo, spear ball, so students, what you have seen in the video, a book which is in the form of a cupoid, ice cream cone which is in the form of a cone, gas cylinder which is in the shape of a cylinder, dice which is in the shape of a cube, spear ball which is in the shape of a spear. Now I will show you one more video which will help you to understand some common solid shapes. <laughs> I hope now it is very clear to you that what are the different solid shapes. Now let me check whether you are able to identify it or not. I will show you some figure and you need to identify it is which shape. So are you all ready? Yes sir. Yes. Tell me the name of this solid. Cube sir. Very good students. Now are you ready for the next one? Yes sir. Now, tell me the name of this solid. Cool, sir. Whoa, very good. Now, get ready for the next one. Now, identify this solid. Cylinder, sir. This one. Spear, Spear, sir. Now, identify this last solid. Cuboid, sir. I am very happy that you all have understand about the different solid shapes. Now, each solid has faces, edges and corners. Some have curved surfaces and some have flat surfaces. Now I'll show you some more video which will help you out to understand about these facts. Now we will see about the faces, edges and corners of the solid. Now you can see here in the cube and cuboid, we are showing first face, second face, third face, fourth face, fifth face and sixth face. So total six faces. Corners, corner 1, corner 2, corner 3, corner 4, corner 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 corners. The line segment are edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 edges. So we are having 6 face, 8 corners and 12 edges in Q and Q void. Now we will discuss about cone. You can see cone has first face, second face, so total how many faces? Total two faces. There are one corner you can see, it has one corner. And how many edges? It has one edge. Cylinder. Now cylinder. Cylinder has first face, second face, third face. So total how many faces are there? You can see three faces. And how many corners? It has no corners. Zero. Edges, it has first edge, second edge. So total how many edges? Two edges. Spear. Now in sphere you can see that it has how many faces? It has one face. And now talking about corners, it has no corners, zero corners. Talking about edges, it has no edges. You can see in the figure it has zero edges. Euler. Euler is a famous mathematician who has given a formula that edges plus 2 equal to vertices plus faces. You can see over there. I hope now we can start the first exercise. So are you all ready for that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Exercise 9.1. Name the solids which have only flat surfaces. The answer is cuboid and cube. As you can see that here in the animation, cuboid and cube has only flat surfaces. 
now we will talk about the solid which has only curved surface can you guess yes it is nothing but it is only sphere or like a ball which is in the shape of a sphere you can see that sphere and a ball which has only curved surface now which have both curved and as well as flat surface and the answer is cone and as well as cylinder here you can see in the animation that it has both curved surface and as well as flat surfaces question number two does the hexagonal prism satisfy the Euler's formula E plus 2 equal to V plus F the answer is yes but how I'll show you here you can see that hexagonal prism has 12 corners and 18 edges along with you can see 8 faces. Now let us apply this in Euler's formula. As you can see that E plus 2 equals to V plus F. E is edges, V is vertex and F for faces. Now we have put all the values. E edges 18 plus 2 equal to vertex 12 plus 8. In both the way you can see that the answer is 20. Hence we have verified the Euler's formula for hexagonal prism. Now we will go ahead with the next question. Question number 3. Name some object shaped like a cone and how many flat surface and how many curved surfaces are there I will tell you about one object and that is full scap have you seen a full scap if you have not seen no problem I will show you right now over here now you can see this picture this is in the shape of a full scap which is in the form of a cone so clearly in the figure you can see that a cone has one flat surface and one curved surface Now moving down to next question, question number 4. If you cut out a rectangular paper and bring the two breadwise edges together, what kind of a model will you get? Now I'll help you out with this. Here in the picture you can see that when a rectangular paper is folded, it is transformed into the shape of a cylinder. So what is the answer? Answer is cylinder.